Welcome to the Konomics video tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you the processor module. The processor is used to fine tune your raw NMR spectrum before profiling. It can accept raw files from the NMR instrument or files that have already been processed by other software packages. In our example, we'll be processing from an FID file. Select, and this menu will pop up with information about your sample. Confirm the information about your spectrum is accurate, including the concentration of your internal standard, in this case, DSS. Indicating the pH value of the sample is important for accurate profiling. Enter the pH of your sample on this menu, or if you've added a pH indicator, click this box. As you can see, we can ask the software to do a number of the steps automatically, including automatic phase correction, automatic baseline correction, and automatic shim correction. Also, line broadening and delete water region. For this tutorial, I'm going to remove these automatic steps and process the spectrum manually. Click OK and we can see our NMR spectrum. Here on the left side of the page, we can see our data acquisition information, including temperature, number of scans, and pulse sequences. Click Processing History, which will update as we go through the processing steps. Let's get started. Begin by zooming in on your DSS peak at 0 ppm, as phase correcting your internal standard is the first step to processing any spectrum. Click Phase Correction and use the zero order phase to adjust the DSS peak until both sides are at an equal level, like this. Zoom in for some finer adjustments. And now create a pivot point by checking this box here. Center the pivot point in your DSS to ensure it is not affected as you phase correct the rest of your spectrum. Once your DSS is phase corrected, you can begin correcting the other peaks in your spectrum. While phasing any peak affects the entire spectrum at once, it is recommended to phase correct peaks near the edges of the spectrum. Start with the first order phase and move on to the fine tune function as needed. Finally, press accept. Now we move to baseline correction. Click, and our baseline will be dropped onto our spectrum, shown by the blue line here. However, we need the baseline to be below all of the peaks if we want accurate quantitative measurements. So first, click Find Baseline, here at the bottom right. The processor creates a best guess here, including adjustable points all along the baseline. Use these points to adjust your baseline and ensure the software captures the entire area of your peaks. You can add or remove these points as needed by either clicking for a new one or using shift click to remove. Do not drop your baseline any lower than your peak's bottom either as this will misrepresent the area of your peak. When you're finished with the baseline correction, press accept. Now, let's do shim correction. Shim correction removes line shape distortions that have occurred as a result of data acquisition from your instrument. We'll use the DSS peak as our reference. Zoom in on your DSS, select the entire blue area, and click accept. The software will modify the shape of your DSS and the correction will be applied to all peaks in your spectrum. Remember that shim correction is only for minor imperfections. If your DSS is asymmetrical or appears as a doublet or multiplet, you may have to reacquire your NMR data for best results. Next is calibrating your chemical shape indicator. Check the width of your DSS peak here. The maximum ideal line width is 2.2 Hz. Press Calibrate Automatically 
and accept. If you need to apply line broadening to match your spectrum to the reference library, enter the value here. After applying line broadening, you will need to recalibrate your CSI. You can also calibrate your pH here. Just add the pH of your sample, or if you have a pH indicator, just click Find Automatically. Once we're done processing, it's time to save as a CNX file format, which will be used in the profiling module. And if you take a look at our processing history, you can see the log of our steps. If you need to redo any of these steps, just click the step and make the necessary changes. Remember, any post modifications to a processing step will automatically clear the subsequent steps. If you deleted line broadening, as I did here, you will need to recalibrate your CSI. Redo your remaining steps, press accept, and save again. Now that we're finished processing, we can move to the profiler and begin identifying compounds. Click the profiler icon here and begin the next video.